here on Hope Street, you've got a unique street which is unusual because it has a cathedral at either end. One end you've got an enormous dark red sandstone Gothic, 20th century Gothic, Anglican cathedral. The other end you've got a 1960s fabulous concrete <laughs> white Catholic cathedral. They couldn't be more different and yet they're joined by this street called Hope and this is where this amazing story started. My name's Jenny Sinclair. I'm the daughter of David and Grace Shepherd, and I'm on the steering group for Together for the Common Good. Shepherd was an Anglican bishop and Warlock was a Catholic bishop. They arrived in Liverpool within six months of each other in 75 to 76. I don't know how long Derek had been here, but a very, very short period of time. David turned up with a bottle of wine and said, hello, I'm the bishop down the other end of Home Street. And there was clearly a meeting of the minds. My name's Roger Phillips, I'm a broadcaster on local radio, BBC Radio Merseyside, have been so since 1978. They made a vow that every Good Friday they would meet together and find time not to do business, but to talk about their faith, to talk about the commonality of their faith, and that was really extraordinary. Liverpool was in a very difficult place at the time, economically, socially, politically, plus a sectarian history which was very divided and they made a commitment to each other very early on that they would try to make this relationship work for the benefit of the city and of the people. They worked together for over 20 years and during that period there were a whole lot of social justice projects. The Eldonians Housing Association, they helped to start the Liverpool 8 Law Centre in an area of, of Toxteth after the riots. They were involved in starting Liverpool Hope University, which is the only ecumenical university in Europe. They were involved in bringing together business leaders and talking about regeneration and encouraging business and local and big employers to have an interest in the common good of the city. The Toxith riots was a very frightening time and they were the only people probably could have done this. They got in touch with community leaders of all kinds there and they actually literally walked through the streets of Toxteth talking to people, listening to people, bringing a, a calmness for people who had faith or had no faith. I, I think it's the first time ever I really understood what a community leader was because they were genuine community leaders. The major event for me is when the Pope came. And the most extraordinary moment was when the Pope came into the Anglican Cathedral and he was applauded. What I love about Together for the Common Good is it's carrying on that feeling of togetherness and exploring how we can use togetherness to make life better for people, whether they're people of faith or not, to make life better for people in the future. <laughs>